All right, the fourth thing I just want to talk about is energy. And I believe uh, energy is a key thing. And at Trek, I say, there's nothing in the middle here. You either add energy or you are an energy sucker. Okay, and just think about that. When you're in a meeting with classmates or you're in a meeting with business people, when you walk into the room and you're having that meeting, either people are adding energy or they're just sucking it right out of it. And I'll tell you, the energy suckers do not last at Trek. And that's a question you need to ask yourself, and especially for students. Ask yourself this question before you have any meeting. Am I adding energy to this situation, or am I being an energy sucker? My, my assistant... Uh, put this uh, picture up of Bill Gates. And there's a great story about Bill Gates. Bill Gates gave $100 million to the University of Washington. He never went to the University of Washington. He gave it to the computer center. And one of the things about having great energy is the ability to work hard. And people often wondered, why the hell did Bill Gates give $100 million to the University of Washington? And when Bill Gates was uh, 12 years old, uh, he would go to sleep he'd always turn in early at about 9 o'clock, and he'd go up to his room. And he'd go up to his room, and he'd climb out his window, and he would go down the street to the University of Washington, the computer center. And there, people would let him in, and he would usually work till 2 or 3 in the morning on the computers. And one of the reasons why Bill Gates became so successful is that he worked really hard at it. And for all the students in here, if you take a look at successful business people, one of the common denominators is they work really hard. And that story of Bill Gates is one example. And this is a story of the Beatles. And the story of the Beatles goes like this. is uh, Back in, I think it was the early 60s, the Beatles uh, started in England, and they were terrible. And they were in their hometown of England, and they could not get a gig in England. So they went over to uh, Germany. They went to Hamburg. And they played there for, uh, it was 100, it was 280 straight days. And they averaged singing eight hours a day. And they said when they came back to Liverpool, they sounded like nobody's business. They were that good. And the reason they were that good is they had this incredible passion and they worked really hard at it. So if you want to be really successful in business, one of the lessons here is work really hard at it and you will go far.